You are being shown this video because you have advanced heart failure. We would like to show you examples of the levels of medical care for patients with advanced heart failure. We hope this video can help you imagine what your choices might be. Then, I would like to ask you questions about the kinds of treatments you would want if you became hospitalized. Keep in mind, in these situations you may or may not be able to tell your doctors what you want. Knowing what you want now and telling others in advance may make things easier in the future for both you and your family. You might find it difficult to discuss this, but as it turns out, different people have different ideas about what's best for them. If we talk about your choices ahead of time, you can let your doctors know now what you would want if you become very sick in the future. People sometimes change their minds about these decisions, and that is normal. But it's a good idea to start thinking about what you would want if you become very sick in the future. Here's one way to help you start thinking about your choices. Basically, there are three approaches to medical care if you become very sick. They are life prolonging care, limited medical care, and comfort care. Let's discuss these three approaches together. The first approach is life prolonging care. With this approach, the main goal is to prolong life. This means that your doctors would do everything they could to keep you alive. They would perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation, known as CPR. CPR tries to get your heart to beat again if it stops. This involves pressing on your chest and using an electric shock in an attempt to restart your heart. A lot of the time in patients with advanced heart failure, CPR does not work. If you choose this approach, you often would also agree to have a ventilator or breathing machine if you needed it to breathe. This involves putting a tube down your throat into your lungs and connecting you to a machine that pushes air into your lungs. You cannot eat or talk while on these machines. If you are on a ventilator, you will likely need very strong medicines. These medicines are usually given in the intensive care unit or ICU. In many patients with advanced heart failure, life prolonging procedures may or may not restore you to your previous health. With a life prolonging approach, you choose to have these procedures in exchange for the small possibility of a longer life. The second approach is limited medical care. With this approach, prolonging life is still important, but not if it means having CPR or being placed on a breathing machine. People who choose limited medical care choose to have medicines for treatable problems, such as fluid in the lungs or a urine infection. This approach allows you to have different medical treatments, including hospital care, antibiotics, other medicines, and fluids through a vein. People who choose limited medical care choose to avoid procedures such as CPR or breathing machines. They choose to avoid these procedures even though without them, they would die. The third choice is comfort care. The main goal of this approach is to maximize comfort and relieve your symptoms. Treatments are only used if they help control uncomfortable symptoms such as pain, trouble breathing, or feeling sick to your stomach. The main goal is not to prolong life. It is to maximize your comfort. People who choose this approach are treated at home, in hospice, or sometimes in a nursing home. If you have a defibrillator, we would consider turning it off 
since shocks from the defibrillator can be painful. Turning off your defibrillator will not cause any pain, will not make your heart any worse, and will not cause your heart to stop beating. Comfort care does not include CPR or breathing machines and usually does not include hospitalization unless it is needed for comfort. People who choose comfort care choose to avoid these procedures even though without them they would die. The main goal of this approach is to provide comfort and relieve symptoms. I hope this has helped you understand the different choices you might make in the future. Choosing among the three approaches, life prolonging care, limited medical care, and comfort care is one way your doctors can make sure that you receive the type of medical care you want if you become very sick. I strongly encourage you to discuss your choices with your doctor and your family. If you let your doctor, your family, and your friends know about your choices, they can help carry out and protect your rights and wishes in the future if you are unable to speak for yourself.